And the doors are opening. I am your host, Get Good Fox. We're playing some more Mech Warrior 5. And today I'm going to be showing you another hero mech, the Fire Storm. Well, the Fire Starter Fire Storm. The Fire Starter FS. And uh, yeah, so there's more than one hero variant for the Fire Starter. And this is it. Uh, there's apparently a storm system. But, okay, so I'm recording a lot of these videos on the same day because today I was planning to do a bunch of bulk recording and it looks like a thunderstorm wants to roll in as uh, that's just that's just the way my state works. So uh, hopefully, I, I'm hoping that if there's sounds of thunder, it will just get drowned in the absolute mayhem of the battle and hopefully due to my booming voice as well. Anyways, let's talk about this mech. We are doing a uh, demolition mission, which is, as you know, very ideal for a fire starter. And this is the first thing that's a little different about it is uh, it's got four machine guns, two in each arm. That's kind of like how the other fire starter was by the, um, the Ember, but the Ember had the machine guns in the torso. This one has them in the arms, but that's not the only thing different about this mech. Despite being called the Firestorm, this Firestarter has fewer flamers than all of the other Firestarters thus far because uh, it only has two. That's right, weaponry includes four machine guns, two flamers located, can't tell, but they're stacked on top of each other in the center torso, and then two medium lasers in the two side torsos. So um, it, it's a little bit closer to the standard fire starter. Still not quite the same though, because the standard fire starter has um, four flamers and two machine guns, but still very, very similar, but less burning than all the other ones. Kind of strange, like I said, they call it the firestorm when it technically is even less fiery than all of the other fire starters. But um, nevertheless, it should, should still be, having the machine guns in the arms should be quite an advantage as I'm going to be able to basically attack things that are much higher. The machine guns do have a longer range than the flamethrowers. So um, if I do run into any, I mean, we haven't, none of them have appeared yet, but if I did encounter any helicopters, the machine guns would be much more capable of it. I believe the physical characteristics of the battle mech are very similar to a standard fire starter. We've got the same 97 kilometers running speed, and I believe the armor remains... Oh, here's a good example. We should be able... Well, let me just get through this wall real quick. That's another thing that's great about these weapons. So we are still out of range, but I should have... A, well, in this case, I can actually just use the medium lasers. That's a, I mean, that's one of the advantages. Oh, wait, we've got a medium mech here. Got ourselves a shadow hawk. Should be able to make quick work of it with all of these very effective close combat weapons. I can chase them down and mow them down. Yeah, there's, that's the mantra for you. Chase them down and mow well, up. Gotta get my torso straightened up on them. That's the one thing that I try to do on these mechs is I try to turn in on them on sharper angles because if you if you if you, if you turn in on them on a wider angle. Your center torso gets a little bit unaligned. Oh, looks like he shut down. That's why he stopped. Even though we don't have the four, uh, what do you call it, flavors, we're still able to force a shutdown on that mech. Very nice. Uh, looks like we're having, I mean, not having trouble taking out this base, but we're not destroying this base quite as quickly as I would have liked. I thought we would. I mean, it could also just be a ruin of these really healthy bases that just take a lot of effort to go down. Still got a plenty of machine gun ammo here. Looking at it, we got like about 5,000. I mean, I shoot my, shoot my ally on accident. What do we got here? Got ourselves another mech. It, this time it is a very, uh, a very unlucky enforcer in the battle. No need to use the medium lasers. These weapons on their own should be more than capable of dealing with them. Having him jump in the middle of combat, really bad news. That's going to generate a ton of heat. He's jumping again. He might actually shut down here. Not quite, but I, I can't imagine him being capable of really doing anything at the moment. Yep, that is the end of him. Where do I, I need stuff to destroy? Come on, give me some stuff to do. I can destroy these pipes. Overall, like, I, mean, I, I mean, I enjoy all of the fire starters, so it's not saying much if I enjoy this fire starter. But, uh, I mean, machine guns, flamethrowers, I like all these weapons quite a bit, and I think you'll agree this mech 
has plenty of firepower, and these are not high quality weapons either. These are just your standard tier one. All right, boys, welcome back to the system. Cashzilla, that, that is its official name now. Like, we're, we're, I'm not calling it Cashzilla, except like maybe like once in a while when I need to make a, a more exact reference, it's Cashzilla. Anyways, here is the Firestarter Firestorm, the FS9FS, like, like so many, got to say fire so many times. As you can see, it just has like kind of a, just a crimson kind of color scheme. Nothing too special about it. Like, I don't really see anything unusual in its paint job, just because, as you know, a lot of these Hero Mechs tend to have interesting paint jobs. So uh, let's just dry a dive. Oh, God, I can't speak. Let's just dive right into the physical characteristics. Armor is 176, so I think that's actually a little bit lower than normal for the Firestarter. Definitely have to change that. Running speed is 97.2 kilometers. That is, on the other hand, very normal. The onboard equipment includes the four machine guns that are in the left and right arms, two medium lasers in the left and right torso, and two flamers in the center torso. It's also got six jump jets, two tons of machine gun ammo. I actually did start to run out of it towards the end because I ran into two smaller mechs before I extracted. So two looks, I probably will keep the two tons of machine gun ammo. And then it's got uh, two heat sinks in order to help deal with the heat let's take a look at the hard points so these are indeed small energy spots so you're not going to be able to do like four medium lasers if you're thinking that was a possibility but uh let me go ahead and get customizing and here is our redesign hopefully the thunder gives me a moment since i don't have the coverage of the game's sound effects now uh so i've already done a flamethrower variant you've already seen that with the ember so this time Let's go for something different, and we're going to do the double machine guns cranked up to the maximum quality. Going to keep those in the arms, and then we're going to go with four small lasers. Once again, I think like I think a lot of people will, would probably go with a small laser build just because I know some people don't really care much for flamers, even though like they are the burneronis. So we're going to give this design a shot. We went ahead and removed all the jump jets. We cranked up the armor. It's it's very close to max. We just shaved a little bit off the head, a little bit off the legs. Uh, we retain the same two tons of machine gun ammo, and we now have uh, six heat sinks, which, uh, no, five heat sinks. And I feel like that will be more than enough to keep the four small lasers cooled off. Uh, in fact, if it keeps them plenty cool, it's perfectly logical to probably drop a heat sink and maybe get another ton of machine gun ammo. It just depends. Like, there's just little tweaks that we could make, but this is what we got. It's time to send it into battle. All right, got an interesting mission here. F difficulty 46, so 270 tons drop limit. Like, I'm very confident in the power of a fire starter, so I don't really mind being a little bit outmatched here. Plus, I got plenty of big mechs to back me up. Interesting that we do have a dust storm here, though. We will see how that works. And, uh, yeah, let's get in there. All right, so now the problem is the other way around. We're actually a little bit underweight, and that's because I don't have any mechs bigger than these beefy boys. They're, they're not beefy enough, so it'll be up to me to kind of compensate for that. Uh, anyways, we're bringing in the two unknown mechs, including this curious one with electronic weapons, and then we're bringing in the Dargan Fang along with the Firestarter with our small lasers. Look, I just need one point in, like, ballistic. Like, I'm using... How do I not have the one point in ballistics? And the doors are opening. Let's see this sandstorm that's supposed to be really, really nasty and gonna really, really hold us back. Um, not seeing much of a sandstorm. Maybe it hits what? Oh, yeah, that's right. We also have a, a bonus objective here. I guess we should go pick that up first and talk about the the firestorm. Here we go. Found us some enemies to smack an egg. Oh, man, we found some extra stuff. Uh, it's going to be my job to protect my allies, especially from these little pesky mechs, mainly because they are a huge distraction for the slower moving mechs. So that is going to be one of my main objectives, is making sure I don't allow these little crummy guys to distract my allies from the battle. I will have to manually tell them to attack enemies in order to try to compensate for that, as well as hunt them down myself, which is fine because that's exactly what this kind of mech excels at with the small lasers and the machine gun. Now I can pick up this 
and then we'll be able to move on to the main objective. I'm expecting that the demolition won't be quite as clean, not just due to the difficulty, but also the fact we don't have the flamers, which are much better at destroying buildings than small lasers, but it should still be a pretty smooth mission. Alrighty, so we are here. Let's talk about the Firestarter Firestorm. This is another one of these mechs that are semi-cannon, and a lot, a lot of them have to do with the Solaris Gladiator arenas, the, uh, the upcoming Legend Killer does, and so does this one. This one was a mech that was piloted by an unknown mech warrior that was part of what's called the Capellan Mafia, and um, I don't know if they have anything to do with the Capellan Confederation or if they're just called that, like... Uh, uh, for example, Peter Armstrong in the previous episode, he was a member of the Capellan Mafia, but he was known as a huge supporter of the Federated Sons, so I don't know if that's just kind of like a nickname, maybe it's a stage name, maybe the name is intended to be like a mockery of things, I have no idea, but other than that, they're, oh, here we go, like, Battle Mech's just a, woo, look at this, we got ourselves something interesting here. Go for the, uh, that mech, I guess, I'm gonna get on this guy. Need to make sure I chew up this guy real quick. As we know, this kind of mech is rather fragile, so we are gonna just take out this Rifleman. Nice and fast, shouldn't be anything yet. All I gotta do is get a few more hits center for so that's the end of them. Next target is probably going to be that Marauder over there. Yeah, focus fire on the Marauder. I'm gonna go after these other mechs. Let my guys jump the Marauder. Plus, the, all, all of them have, um, they should have flamers, and that should give the Marauder a lot of problems. While I quickly finish that guy off, let me find some other shrimpier targets to bring down. I think this is the first appearance of the Marauder. Looks like its arms are pretty banged up. A perfect opportunity to, oh, just take out the mech just like that, I guess. Uh, hopefully you didn't bang up our allies too much as the Marauder has pretty heavy firepower. The addition of the machine guns, and the, or with the addition of the small lasers, rather, it does give us a little more range. So I'm able to just kind of like smack a runny that guy. Oh God, that's a big daddy hunchback over there. Need to get rid of him. Bringing, I mean, it is a higher level mission, so I am going to try to disable his AC-20 just to neutralize him as a threat. AC-20 is down, so he's basically a uh, little, basically just uh, an urban mech now, so I can leave him there for everyone else. I did see another mech over here. Oh, I think it's because the, the we brought the, the mission objective down to 50% health. I believe reinforcements appear both over time, and then I think some of them are forcefully triggered by reducing the objectives. How up oh, there it is. I knew there was another target over here. You're in for some wrong. Oh, wait, what's happening? Is this is one of the scrambleronies. It's I've never gotten the scramble. I mean, we we have something like 30 something salvage shares. I should be able to get my hands on a scrambleroni now. But uh, yeah, that's about all the history of the Firestarter Firestorm. It's just another one of these mechs where. It's just something that was mentioned, hey, this mech exists, therefore we will make a hero mech out of it. I don't think there is any indicator that this mech... I, I heard that it might be true that the mech had machine guns in the arms, but uh, as far as the exact loadout goes, like I don't think there's any indicator that it was uh, really all that different from a standard fire starter. All right, so let's get an idea of the demolition experience. Now, I'm already sure that machine guns are going to be very effective against buildings, like they're going to shred through buildings, no problems at all. Uh, let me see how the, the small lasers, they just don't fire as quickly, so they're just not going to be as good. But that is completely made up for by how, just how effective the machine gun, oh, there's that weird mech that's just, I have no idea. Like someone told me what that mech was, but like, I have no idea. We are able to just completely just chew up all these targets though, so it's, it seems like, yeah, it's true that the the small lasers are less effective than the flamers, but they, I think it's completely okay, given that the machine guns are insanely good, especially in the arms, allows us to aim at things that are higher above. Oh, look at this, deadly, wait, wait, that's right, I can nope. actually, oh, the lasers aren't in the arms, no, I'm still, 
largely helpless against these. See, I can actually aim at things way above me now, specifically because these machine guns are located in the arms. And since they are maximum quality, one of the things that the maximum quality machine guns do is uh, increase their range, which actually does make a pretty big difference. Let's me hit things that are almost right above me. Let me see. So my, I'm still not in range yet. Let's see. So it looks like our effective range is about 200 meters with these maximum quality machine guns. That is honestly not bad. So overall, like, hmm, this mech went through them pretty nicely, and there we go. We did a mission that was a decently overweight compared to us, and it just didn't matter with these crazy weapons, high-quality weapons, devastating weapons on a fast mech. Oh, my! It looks like you're a little late to the show, Mr. O'Reilly. Look how fast we're able to chew through its center torso with these machine guns. There we go, that's the end of them, and I barely got any assistance there from my allies, so... I mean, uh, and, and let me tell you, the Orion is not a lightly armored mech. That mech has quite a bit of armor. Part of it is that the larger a mech gets, the easier it is to hit the center torso, just because it's like a bigger, thicker mech. And that's part of the reason why I do like fast-moving mechs. They're able to they're able to shake gunfire off themselves easier. Oh, we have it now. We have the Scrambler Oni Vulcan. I have never had the Scrambler. We we can actually. Oh, I thought I might as well just be greedy and so. Wait, I don't need those. I already have those. Um, I don't know. Let me just grab grab a thing. Damage looks great. Return damage was fine. I was a little worried that that Marauder was going to punch through the armor of some of my mechs, but at the same time, the is... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The unknown... Wait, I'm at the center of that in editing, unless I forget. This mech, though, it's only five tons lighter than the Marauder. Now, to collect our little side bounty, looks like we're going to get a very high-quality light rifle and some extra smackeronies. As well as a new upgrade, Treasure Hunter level up, a new upgrade, Missile Exhaust Venting Tier 2. Faster Missile Exhaust Venting reduces heat buildup within the mech when firing missiles. Well, that definitely can be very useful as missiles can generate a lot of heat when you cram a ton of them on a mech. Anyways, there you go. I mean, look at the paint job. Like, the paint job is still just fine, meaning the mech, you know, got a little bit scorched by some gunfire, but is overall in really good condition. The fire starter, I, I don't think it really matters what variant you get of it. It's just a very deadly, it's a very, the mech is just so dangerous for its weight level. And it's simply because small arms weapons like machine guns and flamers and small lasers, they actually do a lot of damage if you have them clustered up. And the issue is that there's just not a lot. I mean, how many mechs have four small ballistic slots so that you can do like this kind of a machine gun build? It's really, really not that common, even less common on specifically these light mechs. I mean, if it were up to me, I would be putting machine guns and flamers on all of my light mechs just overall. Like, I think it's, I think it's hard to say that the fire starter is not the king of the light mechs. It's just such a ruthless mech. I mean, honestly, another mech that's really good is the flea, just because it's capable of, it's basically like a smaller fire starter. But I would definitely recommend, unlike the Ares, where I thought you could pass on it, this mech, I actually would not recommend passing on it. It's just such a good mech. What is better, it or the Ember? I'd actually say this one is better simply because the machine guns are in the arms. On the other hand, if you don't like using flamethrowers and you prefer to use small lasers, then the Ember is going to be better because then the small lasers will be in the arms and you'll be able to hit the helicopters a bit more easily. But for me, I, I don't really think it matters. Like I would get the Ember and I would get the Firestorm. I think they're both just amazing battle mechs. And hopefully this illustrated just how consistently good the fire starter is it's just so so good anyways let me know what you think down in the comment section how would you have modified the fire starter fire storm would you have done it differently than me let me know down in the comment section also let me know if the thunder bothered you or not just because like i said i really want i got about four videos to make this is video number two and uh yeah I'll take the feedback, and if you guys were really bothered by the thunder, then I will not 
try to record during a thunderstorm again. Anyways, let me know things out in the comment section. Like the videos, definitely subscribe for future MechWire 5 Heroes of the Inner Sphere Rands 2 Witches content. Of course, remember the channel to be good. To get good.